Yes. I oh, that's good. Okay, let's go, go, go. All right. So welcome back to my class. So 18, unit 18, time and work. Time and work. Yes, good job. So time and work. Okay. So let's go have a look. Ooh. Hello? Yes, hello. 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 Okay, I see you, I see you, it's fine. It's working now. Um, okay, let's go. So time and work. Okay, let's read together. So the first one is businesswoman. Businesswoman. Yes, okay, so if you are a woman, you don't have to stay home with the children anymore and things like that. You can be a businesswoman. You can go and work. Okay, so that's like really amazing, right? Yes. Next, engineer. Engineer. Factory. Factory. Good job. What what is a factory? Mm. What is this? Uh, a factory is a center that makes something. Yes, okay, good. Very good. Yeah, so factory is an industry where they make stuff okay where they make chocolates candy or food okay so a factory can be used to make a lot of things next internet internet we are using the internet right now <laughs> okay so the internet we use it for everything meeting yeah. meeting Yes, where is this meeting? Can you try take a guess? Mm, they are meeting at mm, the office. Very good, yes. So they're having a meeting at the office in the board, the boardroom. Okay, boardroom, we usually say. Okay, the conference room. So they're having a meeting. Very good at the office. Next, clock. Clock. Watch. Watch. Okay, watch. Good. Watch. Watch, yeah. Okay. I have a smart watch on. So I like, I like my smart watch. Okay, good job. Evening. Evening. Night. Night. Okay, look at this picture. Is this the evening? Yes, it is evening. Uh, okay, evening is the same as night, right? Yes. Good job. What's the opposite of evening? What's the opposite mm. of evening? Oh, yes, I think, um, I think it's day. Almost, almost. A morning. Morning, good job. What's the opposite of day? Mm. Good, that's my girl. Good job. Excellent. Very well done. Okay, so we have evening, morning, day, night. Good job. Let's have a look. So, okay, very good. So, over here we can see 
Okay, morning is from 12 a.m. to 12. Yes. And then from 12 to 12 in the evening is p.m. Okay, yeah. so the time I wake up is 6 a.m. What time do you wake up in the mornings? I wake up in I wake up in the morning is 7 a.m. Okay, 7 a.m. Very good. And in the evenings I go to bed at hmm, half past 10. And what about you? Mm, I I go to bed at eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. or p.m. Uh, eleven p.m. Eleven p.m. Okay, very good. Nice job! Wow, you go to bed late. Yes. Whoa! Do you never? Do you sometimes feel tired going to bed so late? No. Oh, that's why you sometimes have classes at like 10. Okay, now I know why. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Okay, let's go, go. Half past one. Half past one. Half past two. Half past two. Half past three. Half past three. Good job. So some people say half past one, half past two. Some people say half um half past two so it all depends like where you are so either half past one half past one so it depends how you want to say it right okay yeah. you can also say five o'clock five o'clock good job five two you can say five two or five past Quarter two, quarter past. Quarter two, quarter past. Good job. Okay, any questions? Mm, no. No, okay, very good. So when we say o'clock, we can say like this. It's now two o'clock. Like when it's on the dot, you know, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we can say mm, it's quarter to three. Right, quarter to three. Quarter to three. Good. Okay. Um, any other examples that you can think of? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, 20, 25 past and 20 past. Easy. So when it's 12 o'clock, we can say it's 25 past 12. Yes, 25 past 12. Very good. Okay, good job. Oh, we can also say this um, for 10 to. Oh, yeah. For 10 to, we can say it's now 10 to 11 because it's going to be 11 o'clock very soon okay good job any questions missy any questions don't be scared to ask okay no questions no good 
All right, grammar. Prepositions of time. At, until. Okay. So we use prepositions of time to tell the time. So meet me at this restaurant at six o'clock, right? Meet me at my house at nine o'clock. So we use this to give a time. Yes? Um, yes. Very good. What example can we give? I go to school at 8 a.m. There we go. Give me an example. I go to school. No, I go. Don't copy, teacher. I, <laughs> yes, I study online at 2 a.m. Very good. Wait, 2 a.m. Yes. Huh? 2 a.m. in the morning. You will be sleeping then. That can't be right. No, 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. Oh, so 2 p.m. Thank goodness. Phew, you're giving me heart attacks here. Phew. Okay, remember not to mix your a.m. morning and your p.m. afternoon. Don't mix them up, okay? Yes. You definitely don't study at 2 a.m. in the morning. Whew, my heart. <laughs> okay, until. Okay. He's studying in London until the 30th. Okay. So we use until to give us like an example like how long will it take you know so for example she is visiting her family until sunday All right, she is studying until the exam on Friday. Any questions? Mm. No, no question. Okay, you see where we use the until? Yes. Can you give me an example? Okay. He, she is sleeping until nine a.m. Good job. So remember. Remember to think. Think a little bit before you answer. Okay, because you're speaking to me like this. He sleeps until 9 a.m. I want fluency, right? Think about what you're saying and then say it more fluently. He is sleeping until 9 a.m. Faster, you see? Fluency. Yeah. Try again. She is sleeping until 9 a.m. Perfect. Good job. So always think about your answer a little bit and make sure you answer in your full sentence, right? Without broken English. Okay, try not to take so many pauses, right? So if teacher speaks to you like this, she is studying until the exam. You're going to be like, oh, this teacher is boring. So we need to make sure we got that fluency, that rhythm. Okay, good work. So we just need to keep practicing. Good work. Okay, let's go, go, go. So what's the time? Oh, I like this. Easy peasy. So number one, you can see it's three o'clock. Yeah. 
what's the time by number B? Hello? Are you listening to music or answering? Okay. What's the time by number B? By B? Mm, it's at, is at 30 o'clock. And yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's 8.30. It's half it's, past. Mm, half. Half past eight. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, Yana, oh, Yana, oh, Yana, we need to practice more. C. Mm, it's. It's um, four o'clock. Very good. Four o'clock. Good job. Good work. Four o'clock. Nice. D. Mm. You got this. Try, try. I'm going to help you. If you get it wrong, teacher will help. Don't worry. Okay. It doesn't help you look at the clock on the wall. You need to look at what's showing here. <laughs> okay, so it's quarter past. Seven. Very good. Quarter past seven. Nice. E. It's quarter to nine. No. No. It's quarter to. Oh, yes, 10. Yes. Why? Because fifth, uh, there's 15 minutes to go. And then it is. 10 o'clock right so that's why we say it's quarter to 10 because it's almost 10 o'clock okay yeah. next oh it's too small i can't see it can you see it um no it's mm -mm. It's too small. Yeah, it's too small. Okay, listen and oh, number. I think it's midnight. Um, I think, oh, wait for me. I can see it. Can you see it? It's, I'm struggling to see it. It's very small. It's it, tiny. I think it's 10, 10 35. No. Okay. So, okay. So, anyways, let's listen and number. 18B. Time and work. Listen. Oh, I hate, I honestly hate it when it keeps playing music. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's keep going. So let's listen. Stopping. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Okay, so here we can see, we can see it's three o'clock, half past eight, four, 4 p.m., 
fifteen seven fifteen p.m. Oh no, it's no, it's quarter yeah quarter to ten, so we can see nicely what's happening. Yeah. Oh my word, my computer keeps freezing. Ugh. I'll have it looked at later on today. Why? What about the internet? No, it's not the internet, it's the computer. The internet's fine. Okay. 18B. That's a meta. Okay, just hold on. I want to stop the music in that slide. Hello, I can't hear you. Two seconds. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how to stop no. it from playing. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, let's keep going. So let's take a look. Eighteen B. Time and work. Listen and number. Listen and look. There is one example. One. What time is lunch today? What time is lunch today? Bye, Mom. See you at half past three. Wait, Sally. You have to be back before that. Lunch is at three o'clock today. Lunch is That's at three o'clock. That's late for lunch. We usually have it at two. I know, but not today. Can you see the number one? Yeah. Now you listen and write two, three, and four. Two. What time does the boys' television program begin? There's a great program on TV tonight. What time is it on? I want to watch the news at 9 p.m. No problem. Mine starts at quarter past seven and finishes at half past eight. Three. What time does Zoe have to get up for school? Do you have to get up early, Zoe? Not this week, because I'm on holiday. I get up at ten. But when it's school time, I have to get up at half past eight. Do you? I get up at about seven o'clock every day. Four. What okay. time is it now? You're doing it wrong. You need to listen. And number, that's not number two. 18B. Time This is number and work. two. Listen the show. and look. The boy there wants to watch example. his TV show at quarter past one. seven. What time is lunch today? Bye, Mom. See you at half past three. Wait, Sally, you have... Right, this is number one. 
Number two, listen carefully. You need to practice your listening. I have to be back before that. Lunch is at three o'clock today. That's late for lunch. We usually have it at two. I know, but not today. Can you see the number one? Now you listen and write two, three, and four. Two. What time does the boys' television program begin? What time does his There's television program, program begin? There's a great program on TV tonight. What time is it on? I want to watch the news at 9 p.m. No news problem. 9 p.m. Mine starts at quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. And finishes seven. at half past eight. Finishes at half past Three. eight. So no. What time what does time it start? What time does Zoe have to get up for school? Do you have to get up early, Zoe? Listen carefully. Not this week, because I'm on holiday. I get up at ten. But when it's school time, I have to get up at half past eight. Do you? I get up at about seven o'clock every day. Number three, number... Four. What time is it now? Four. Quick, May. It's late. No, it isn't. It's only four o'clock. The film doesn't start until 4.30. Oh, sorry. My watch is wrong. It says 25 minutes past. That's okay. Number four. Which one is number four? Four o'clock. Yes. Okay, good job. Okay, so we have quarter past seven, half past eight, 4 p.m. Very good. Okay, good job. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's fill in the missing words and read. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes? Okay, keep going. You're doing so well, Amy. Michael is in London. Read for us. He flew. He flew there last week with some of his classmates. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. They having English uh, are they having English lessons? They having English lessons. Yes, because remember, they equals to they are. Yeah. Okay. They're having English lessons at a college in. The city center. Center. He's center. He's talking and sending message to messages. Messages. Messages to the other people in his family. That's my girl. Internet. Good. He does. He does this in his afternoon lesson break. Good his work. Father, his father, Jim teaches, Jim teaches. What does his father teach? Hmm. You need to choose one of these words. I think is art. Put it in there. Okay. Good work. But he is at home now. His mother, Mary, is a business woman. She's visiting, visiting a, a factory. Good job. A factory in China where they design apps and make lap laptop and tablets. Remember this to, sorry, remember to read this S, right? Laptops. Laptops. 
tablets. And tablets. Good job. His sister Emma is in another country too. She's she's skiing. Very good. Very nice work, Amy. Class in the mountains. Very Michael's, good. Michael's family has to think very carefully about a good time to talk to each other because the time is different in each of the four countries. Countries. Michael, countries. 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 Good. Countries. I want to hear that S, right? Yes. Good. Michael can. Eels. Very good. So Michael can use the computer room in London at 4 p.m. Back at home, his dad turns on the computer at 7 p.m. Something's because... wrong. Something's wrong here. Michael can use the computer. That grammar isn't right. Yes, I know. Michael can use is the only one we say, right? Yes. Okay. Keep okay. reading. Okay. His dad to turns talk. on the computer. To talk. After a day in the mountains, Emma goes online in her hotel at 5 p.m. But the conversation is much it match our oh no it match later later for Michael's mother. Later for Michael's mother, where she is, it's 1 a.m. Very good. Okay, so where Michael's mom is, it's 1 a.m., so much later. Good work. Nice, very good work. Now choose the best name for this story. What would you say we should name the story? Mm, yeah. Michael's family conversation. I think, yeah, I think so too. I think that is definitely the best name for the story. Good job. Very nice, Amy. You always make me so proud of you. Well done. Good job. Okay, listen and tick the correct box. Let's go. Okay, so now I want to see those listening skills. We've practiced a lot. So let me see it. Let me see it. Let's go. Time and work. Listen and look. There is one example. What's Here's Kim's example. job? What's Kim's job? Hello. Is your sister working in an office now? You mean Kim? Yes, but only for about an hour each day. She isn't a secretary. Is she an artist then? She's an engineer. Oh. She designs skyscrapers most of the time, but Ooh. bridges as well. Can you see the tick? Yes. Now you listen and tick the box. One, how does Kim go to work? 
Does Kim take the bus to work? She could do that, but she needs to drive there and to travel to different parts of the city each day. Can't she cycle? There's so much traffic. I think she'd like to, but she needs to carry too much. 2. What time does Kim's... OK, so how does Kim go to work? Very good. OK, yes, by car. Huh? Oh. Oh. One second, let me. I think we need to just get that. The story they didn't take to the next page. And then, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's fine. <laughs> Okay, my heart. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so I just put the I put the wording on there for us, so it should be fine okay. now. Okay. okay. You're doing very well. Now we can keep listening. Whew, my heart. 18D. Time only for about an hour each day. Is she an artist then? Now you listen. Kim take the bus to work. Different parts of the city each day. Can't she cycle? There's so much traffic. I think she'd like to. Two. What time does Kim start work? What time does Kim start what work? What time does Kim have to be at work? Well, she has to get up at a quarter past six. Then she has breakfast and leaves home at a quarter to seven. So when does she arrive in her office? At half past seven. It's really early, but she doesn't mind. Three. Where does Kim have lunch? Tick. Where does Kim take her lunch break? Have enough time to do that, Mr Lowe. Is there a cafe in the She works there. Yes, but she usually takes sandwiches and eats them in the park. Likes doing that best. Eat sandwiches Four. in the park. What was Kim's first job? Is this Kim's first job? She told me she wanted to be the manager of a clothes shop. Well, she didn't do that. But she worked at a police station once. Oh. Really? Yes, but she didn't have to wear a uniform. She worked in the kitchen there. <laughs> Five. What does Kim like most about her job? Is your sister pleased with her new job? She had to study for a long time, but she loves it. She really enjoys being outside too. Does she have to go to lots of meetings, too? Yes, but she doesn't enjoy those very much, and she hates talking on the telephone. Tick. Tick. Oh, yes. Listening skills, we need to practice. Yeah. Okay, good work. So I need you to practice your time. We need to practice with our time, right? So let's listen yeah. to that. Time is traffic. Oh. She has breakfast and she home listen. at a At half past, oh, she has to get up at a traffic. I think she... Two. Two, listen. What time does Kim start work? What time does Kim start work? What time work? does Kim have to be at work? Well, she has to get up at a quarter past six. Then she has breakfast and leaves home at a quarter to seven. So when does she arrive in her office? 
At half past seven. It's really early, but she doesn't mind. Three. So we heard now, right? Good job. Very nice. Any questions? Mm, yes. Okay. Any questions? And um, now question. Very good. Okay. So today you did excellent. So what are we going to practice at home? Mm, yes. What are we going to practice at home? We practice time and listen at home. Very good. So we're going to look at practicing time. So we'll send you some homework like this, right? Okay. Yes. And then I will also send you some listening exercises. And you know what, Amy? You are doing so well. Your reading is good. Your pronunciation is good. Your speaking is good. So now we just need to work on our time and our fluency and our listening. listening. And we can do it. We can do it because you are really smart. You have a good attitude. So I want to keep working. So well done today. Good job. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Give yourself a round of applause. Good, Amy. <laughs> okay, keep up the good work, okay? I will see you on Wednesday, tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.